Hey everybody, welcome to the Warcraft Brew. We're up to episode 9 today. My name is Quissy. And I'm Pasta Face. And we're trying out a bit of a different setup here today. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. We're always open to feedback, so we want to keep improving upon this cast and just uh, making changes for the better based on your uh, feedback. And we, uh, for those wondering, we are in the same room. We are next to each other. Yes. So. Hello. When I look that way, I, I actually am looking yes. at pasta. And when I, and I, wow. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> Hell yeah. We got the, uh, we got the pink monkey in the background over there. We have Snorlax in my background over here who is full on milady mode. <laughs> Can you see his top Can hat? You, then both of those large stuffed animals are yours. Do you yeah. want to briefly explain how they came into your possession? Uh, oh, this old thing. <laughs> um, so Dearest Snorlax over here was an online exclusive of, I think, oh god. They, they're partnered with GameStop now. What are they? What were they? Think Geek or, or something? Oh, maybe Think Geek, yeah. yeah. Um, but this was an online exclusive, so I pre-ordered him, and, uh... <laughs> and it was really, you know, it was one of the best purchases I've ever made in my entire life. And I, I guess to just to describe it for those who aren't watching, it's a giant Snorlax uh, um, beanbag? Yeah, it's yeah. a beanbag chair. Beanbag chair. Right off the bat, we are just getting right into the nitty-gritty content. I mean, um, we used to we used to feature Snorlax a lot during our live streams, and we still do every once in a while. We used to do Snorlax shimmies every mm. time somebody uh, oh donated. <laughs> this, is is a, this is very is large. A, this is a thick. It's bigger than you. Yeah, he's pretty thick. And the pink monkey, you you got that at what Dave and Buster's? Yes, uh, <laughs> my second favorite pride and joy. Um, I love Dave and Buster's. Big surprise. Uh, so I saved up quite a few tickets to get that pink monkey over there, and that is around roughly the same size as that Snorlax. Snorlax, yeah, yeah. I think. I think Snorlax is definitely bigger. Yeah. But that monkey is massive too. Yes. Um, now, was that all one trip to Dave and Buster's, or were, were these multiple? Those were multiple trips. Oh, okay. I okay. think, and and those were all long trips too. So I spent quite a bit of my day at Dave and Buster's. <laughs> Uh -huh. I think so I, you, oh. I got that in like two trips. But, and you knew what you were saving up for. You Hell. were like, I'm going to save all my tickets to buy this giant pink monkey. Hell yeah. Okay. It was originally a giant banana that I wanted, but they Aww. discontinued that Aww. and they put in the, the pink monkey, which was the same price. So okay, well, it's like, hell yeah. Giant pink monkey. Giant pink monkey it is. <laughs> We, uh, we just came back from Taekwondo. Uh, we talk about this often on the live stream too because like I'll, I'll often have to end the stream because I have to go to Taekwondo. Um, but we just signed up, a, uh, what, like two, two and a half months ago now, yeah. I think, in, in the middle of September. It was a few weeks after Classic. And I'm new to it, so I am currently still a white belt. Right, and I'm, um, I'm coming back into it, so I've Previously, blah, blah, blah. I previously studied a mix of Taekwondo and Jiu Jitsu at my old school for about 10 years. And then I was an instructor as well during mm. that time. Um, took a long break, and especially after spending like hours on end just sitting down in front of the computer grinding out classic, I was like. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's time to, to get back into it. I think, yeah, that's actually like what inspired us to sign up, I think, WoW yeah. Classic, because we were like locked in our house for like a week or so after mm -hmm. it released, and we just got so mentally drained and physically drained, like we felt like shit. <laughs> and it's so silly, like I, I feel so silly saying this because all I did was just sit down and play a video game, but it was, I. I guess the amount that we played. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we binged um, it. At the times of day that we played, what we ate during yeah. it. And we tried to eat healthy. We tried, yeah, was... yeah. We, we weren't doing too bad. We weren't like drinking energy drinks no. or like hot pockets. But we were getting like, like three hours of sleep. Yeah, I think it was the lack of sleep and then playing for like 20 plus hours a day. Right. So, um, 
I feel good. Like every time we go to class, I feel I feel a lot better, like yeah. mentally and physically. No. I think it's helped a lot with my mental health. Um, it's it's like a great escape, you know. When when I go there, I'm really focused on what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so I have. Uh, I, I mentioned to you guys, I'm a white belt. I have my four stripes. So I'm having my promotion test to. I think it's an orange belt. I don't know. I, I thought it was I yellow, it but I, I, yeah, in my old school it was white, yellow, orange. Mm -hmm. But I know in some traditional Taekwondo schools it's white, orange, yellow. Mm. So I always, I always keep switching those up. So yeah, like, and I've heard our master say different things. Like first he said like, oh, yellow belt, and then the uh, the other day I thought he said orange belt. So. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But my test is in a couple of weeks, yeah. um, so we'll update you guys on that if yeah. I, uh, if and when I complete my belt you promotion. You <laughs> will. It's going to be an experience, but yeah. you know, your first one's the, the the toughest, and then it's your black belt that's your toughest. But I. I, I was just going to agree with you. I just recently came back from a, a work trip to New Orleans and mm -hmm. being on that flight, even though it was only like a couple hour flight, I got to say, every time I come back from an event, I get such a headache. And I can't mm. tell if it's like from sinus, like sinus pressure or my neck. Yeah, it could be the pressure, really like the, the cabin pressure. Yeah. Who knows? I don't know, but the following day I always get such a headache I feel like I can't do anything mm. um, but now I, I, I really have to thank you you pushed me to go to class today and I feel so much better mm. ten times better than I did waking up today so thank you awesome and it, we've even met a lot of people like through chat who uh, who have also studied martial arts in the past so it's 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 really cool like chatting about it with other people learning about what um, what art they've studied and like what degree so uh, yeah it's we'll, we'll continue to update you guys <laughs> as we progress we can move along in our topics we'll just jump right into it all right so moving on um, I, I actually just realized on YouTube that I could link a, a Teespring account mm. like a, to sell merchandise on YouTube so I just set that up might be it's, it says it's gonna be available in like one to two days so if you guys notice that there are like t-shirts available <laughs> underneath this video that's why uh, we're trying to raise some extra money for the podcast. Uh, we have a few pieces of equipment that we would like to upgrade and, and pieces of equipment that we'd like to purchase that we don't really have the money for right now. Right. Um, one being an audio interface um, for our microphones to direct to connect directly to our computer. Right now we, we have a really uh, ghetto setup. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's, it's really janky. Could... By getting something like a, a Zoom recorder, that would just really... Uh, be a quality of life thing it just <laughs> yeah no we, we have we have quite a few uh lists of items that we, we we'd like to upgrade we're we're kind of toying with the idea of making a patreon um and that'll expand beyond our podcast that I, that'll actually go towards um my youtube channel as well just the overall health of the youtube channel like right. uploading more content getting better equipment and things like that so these are just things we're, we're thinking about um um, a lot of people have been very supportive of us over the past several years, so um, we appreciate all of that, and uh, we're trying to think of awesome perks and incentives to uh, to keep that moving forward and, and help us upgrade the content so that we can provide better quality content for you guys and more frequently as well. Right, and, and we're listening too, so if you have any suggestions on perks or, or whatever, just uh, please let us know, type out in the comments or tweet at us, you, we are listening yeah. and um, absolutely, like, absolutely. Uh, every little yeah. bit helps and it means a lot to us. Definitely, like yeah, people had suggested uh, adding video, so we uh, that's why we're trying it out today. So. Hell yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get on to uh, the topics of the week. Now we, we okay. usually uh, do. We always we always start with classic first, right? Yeah, it's yeah. always been classic because it's, it's what we really yeah. want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> we live it. We live classic. So oh my god, it took you guys like over ten minutes to start talking about classic. <laughs> Ugh, bad podcast. Thumbs down. Um, <laughs> Maybe you guys should try getting to the point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh lordy, so what's coming this week in WOW Classic? 
first thing, I, I know Battlegrounds is on everybody's mind, but the first thing I want to talk about are the Elemental Invasions. Those are coming to WoW Classic this week, in addition to the Battlegrounds. Hell yeah. Um, but the ele Elemental Invasions, I completely forgot about those. Like, we, we, bo we both played in vanilla, and yeah. like, I vaguely remembered this occurring. I, guess, I, I just don't remember participating it, in it at all. And if I did, I probably just happened to stumble upon an event as it was going on. So if you were like me and needed your memory refreshed, um, I did a little bit of research on this. I actually wrote a guide on Wowhead about it, and I made a video on my YouTube channel. I can put the link in the description below. But it's basically a world event. Um, there are four locations in which it can occur. Uh, Ashara, Ungoro Crater, uh, Silithus, and Winter Spring. Yes, I remembered. <laughs> nice. And um, at one of these four locations, uh, a specific like uh, type of elemental will start to spawn, like a rock elemental or like an air elemental, and um, they'll keep spawning until like a named, a, a big like big boss comes out, like a named elemental, mm. and um, they'll keep spawning until you kill the named. The named uh, drops uh, blue gear, green gear, some patterns which are going to be available in later phases apparently, but it's just like a world event, I guess, just to get some extra gear and. That's cool. No, I. I I played vanilla back in the day, but I, I didn't do a lot of um, social group activities mm. um, and, such as this one. So I, I kind of don't remember this being a thing, and, and this yeah, is essentially new content to me. So I'm, I'm very excited to, uh, to play it. And yeah, be a check part it out. It. Yeah. yeah. Um, so apparently, like they, the, the spawn is really random. Like it might be every few days. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Um, there is one thing that I, I was like reading comments, like old comments from, you know, 14, 13, 14 years ago. And uh, people were saying like, if you don't kill the named elemental, you could keep, uh, the, the little guys will keep spawning. And you could apparently kill them and farm them for like uh, elemental water, elemental oh. fire. Ess uh, essence of air, essence of water, et cetera, et cetera. Do, so. they, have a, do they have a chance to drop a BOE? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, apparently, like, that's what people did in the past. They just farm these elementals. They don't kill the name so that they keep spawning. Smart. So I guess if you, if you want, like, yeah, elemental whatever. <laughs> Essence of air. But moving on, yes, Battlegrounds are coming out this week as well. Something that's been very much so... Uh, a lot of people very much so have been looking forward to just because of the insanity that at least on our server, World PvP has has created. Right, and I I kind of got to my breaking point uh, this week or mm. last week. <laughs> I, don't I know. forget. It's all a blur to me. But I just every time I log into Feralina, it's like a chore to me. Just waiting two plus hours in the queue right off the bat yeah. makes me salty as fuck. I know. Right off the bat, I'm not in a good mood. It's, it's, you really have to plan your playtime. Right. Like, you have to plan your life around your playtime. Yeah, if I have to plan my day around the queue time, that's just, no. We really no. do, because like, Triggers uh, me. last night, for example, although, although the queue time was really low last night, not a, and it was a Friday night, we don't know why, but it could be because people are taking it easy this weekend, waiting for Battlegrounds to come out, I don't know, we'll see, but... The queue last night, prime time on a Friday night, 7 p.m., uh, was 45 minutes, right. which was shocking because last week it was like three or four hours. Um, so I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. But um, yeah, it's, it's just like <laughs> if we know we have to be on at 9 o'clock for Onyxia, we're like, okay, we have to get in the queue at like, we have to check the queue at 6 p.m. to see how long it is. Yep. Okay, it's only an hour. Let's check again at 6.30. Okay, it's 90 minutes. Let's maybe get in queue at around 7 p.m. because then it'll be two hours and then we'll be good to go. <laughs> so it's like, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. It's a big yeah. thing. Yeah. But um, we, we've been having a lot of fun on Grobulus, as we mentioned in our previous, uh, in last week's episode. Right. Um, I mean, what else could we say? Like, we, we made alts on there. We will say nothing because we want Grobulus to say, stay the, yeah. the same way that it is right now. It's a terrible server. It's Don't roll there. so bad. Oh, <laughs> if you think Feralina's bad, don't go to Grobulus. But yeah, I saw somebody comment. You saw that comment yeah, on I YouTube? Yeah, I saw that comment, too. They were yeah. like, 
Stop, stop, stop talking about how awesome Grobulus is. We don't want all the, all the Spurgs to roll there. <laughs> I was like, true, that's a good point. Yeah, uh, it, but, it is a fairly balanced uh, server, so yeah. I'm, I'm just having a blast. And uh, the more I think about it, so I, um, I rolled a gnome, a no, excuse me, a gnome rogue on Grobulus, and my main is a human warrior on Feralina. And um, I'm, I've just been having a blast, and I've constantly been asking myself. So don't mind the tap. That's yeah. our heater going on. Yeah, <laughs> we sorry. have no control over it. Uh-uh. We live uh -uh. in an apartment. The first time we heard it, I, I didn't know what that was. It sounds like somebody's <laughs> taking a wrench and just like banging the pipes. Yeah. It's so weird and loud. It's like, how is that noise being created? Oh, well, here's the little miss. Bell Bell. And this is our cat. You making a little cameo, Bell? Call her Little Miss Bell. Hi. She doesn't like to be picked up, so we can't like. Yeah, we don't hold pick her. her up. Yeah, but that's okay. She uh, she does her thing. We let her do her own thing. Yeah. Let's um. See. Yeah. Uh, but going back. There's her tail. Oh. Yeah. So you yeah. going back into it? I've just been asking myself the question of why didn't I originally roll roll a uh, gnome rogue? Mm -hmm. Why didn't I do that? Because I'm having so much more fun, and. I, I really thought about it, especially on the plane uh, to my job. I really thought about it and I was like, you know what? If I rolled a gnome rogue, that whole first experience of three hours of sleep, 20 plus hours oh. of playing, that probably would have ruined it for me too. Yeah. You know, when we were talking about what classes we were gonna roll, I mean, I knew I was gonna play a paladin. Right. You, you were kind of like maybe I feel like you considered maybe playing a hunter at one point because right. that was your original right. class. Um, I don't know if you considered any other classes. I know you play a druid in retail. Yeah. So I mean that was definitely up in the air, but but rogue yeah. wasn't one of them. I don't mm. I don't remember us ever saying like, hey, are you interested in playing a rogue? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we we love it. Like like I said, I'm a druid. She's a rogue, and and. I have my cat form now, so we stealth around together, yeah. we sneak past things. It's it's so much fun. I can't wait to start doing stealth runs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we want yeah, we want to do like Scarlet Monastery stealth runs and, and right. maybe raise our fetting downs, and then when we get high enough we could do BRD. Like it, it's gonna be so cool. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. I really am. I've been having a blast so, so far. It, it's definitely been like a nice refreshing break, that's mm. that's for sure. And and the guild that we're with. Um, we're in a two to tornadoes, yeah, guild tribe. Just so sweet and so helpful, which just really adds to this awesome experience. So thank you. Yeah, and and you know, uh, not to say any any more great things about Grobulus, <laughs> but like every pug that I've ran into has been really cool too. So yeah, like just. I was in a group doing the Red Ridge Elites the other day, and we wiped like three times <laughs> because they kept spawning on us. But the group was so chill, like nobody left, nobody like rage quit and was like, you guys suck. Right. Uh, everybody was like, oh no, let's let's try again. You know, like everybody was really excited. So um, yeah, we're, we're having a great experience with that so far. But back to Battlegrounds. Yeah. <laughs> we went on like such a tangent about world PvP and all that. But uh, I, I am very excited for Battlegrounds to come out. I will most likely be spending most of my time in AV initially, just because the exalted rewards are great. And uh, I think AV is fun. Um, I, like, Warsong Gulch is not my favorite. Really? Yeah, no. It's not my favorite. You think, you know, I think I like Warsong Gulch a little bit better than AV. Really? I don't know why. AV just, I, I guess it's the amount of time that you have to spend in AV that just makes me have League of Legends flashbacks. <laughs> and I just, it, twists me <laughs> every time I play AV, but um, I'm, I'm definitely excited for it. So I, I, didn't, I didn't expect to play it when people were talking about it, mm -hmm. but now I kind of want to do. I, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm excited. I, it has a, that reputation of, of being, having really long games that last forever, and mm -hmm. it did live up to that reputation during the WoW Classic beta, which we had the privilege to play. Um, those games were really long. Yeah. I remember like we, we had gotten into separate games and your game actually, they won. Yeah. And I was like, what? Your game is over? My game lasted for like, I don't even know how many hours I before think we I just, left. I think we bum rushed everything. And, and yeah, I think, I, I 
think that's what the really competitive players are going to try to do just to make the games like think about the people who are ranking they want to get as much honor as quickly as possible right so these people are going to in my opinion they're probably going to just bum rush to to the opponent opposing enemy's base and just try to kill the uh, you know opposing faction's leader and just get the game over with as quickly as possible. Right. So I'm actually, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how AV is going to pan out. Like, uh, yeah, <laughs> I remember, and I don't know what, what version of WoW, what expansion, or which, what patch this was, but I remember there was a time in AV where people just like ignored everything and just like would, would bum rush um, to the like Stonehearth bunker to kill uh, Belinda and um, what's the other guy, Galv, I think was his name, Galv. Mm -hmm. Kill those guys and then bum rush to the opposing faction's uh, base and just... Well, <laughs> quality content. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm all for quick games, Hell you know? Yeah. <laughs> In and out, give me that honor, give me the reputation, I want those exalted rewards, so. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> um, and, and as for Warsong Gulch, like, I, I don't hate Warsong Gulch, like if I, if I have a good team, then I, I'm fine. But I've just had so many poor experiences with pugs, especially before they, they implemented the time limit. Oh. Where if people, feel like being, if people feel like being stubborn, like the game just goes on forever. Yeah. And another thing that they added in retail with Warsong Gulch is if the flag carrier holds the flag for a certain amount of time, they start to de get a debuff, like a stacking debuff. Yes. Uh, they, where they either, whether they receive less healing or they take more damage. Or is it both? Or maybe both, I don't yeah. know. It's, I, it's something like that. I forgot myself. To make I, them easier to kill. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that's not in classic. Um, th but those are ways, like, <laughs> obviously, I guess they've taken feedback into consideration and we're like, okay, these games last too long. How can we make them end quickly? It just speeds up the process, you yeah. know? Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> like, what are you gonna do? Well, so we'll see. We'll see mm. what happens. I'm excited. Yeah. Hope, yeah, me uh, too. Everybody else is excited. Ah, uh, what else? What else have we got? Um, I think we, yeah, we touched we pretty on, much covered. Yeah, yeah, we touched on queue times. Um, oh, I, I'm just gonna fangirl here for a second. I. Um, was watching Hazel's BlizzCon summary video. Oh yeah, and we're in it. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, we are. We love Hazel I, so much. I know she's so sweet. Every time uh, we go and see her at the uh, the con before the storm, yeah. she is so sweet. And uh, that's the footage that she used. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just yeah, us us meeting her and taking a picture and smiling. And, yeah. So yeah. if you're a fan of Hazelnutty Games like we are, um, she has a BlizzCon recap video and around what is it the 15 minute yeah, mark? It's around 15 minutes. You'll uh, you'll see uh, us with Hazel at Con Before the Storm. Yeah. Which was uh, one of the one of the highlights of our trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. Maybe one day we could get uh, Hazel as a guest on I, I would love that. I would absolutely adore that. That would be great. Hell yeah. Um, okay, I mean, yeah, I guess the, we, we covered a lot of the news, the classic news. I, I think the only thing that I, I didn't have this written down, but um, there was a lot of controversy regarding Swifty. Um, oh. As you, so, some of you guys uh, may not know who Swifty is. He's, he's been around forever. He's a warrior. Um, uh, very popular, um, and he was having a lot of issues on Fairlina being stream sniped and corpse camped repeatedly. And I mean, the same, the same thing with Asmongold that happens to him. I'm sure it happens to S Fan and right. all those guys. Um, but Swifty, you know, made the announcement that he had left Fairlina, and like uh, the, his guild was giving him a lot of pushback because they, they, I guess they gave him a lot of gear. Mm -hmm. And um, I watched his video on Twitter, just kind of explaining why. At the end of the day, he did decide to um, to uh, transfer, right. and it, it kind of spoke to me. Like it, like I it resonated with me. I, I agreed with a lot of his points. Um, he said he just wasn't happy playing. Like right. he he you should be having fun playing the game. Uh, you want to have that classic experience, and he just wasn't getting that. And um, he that's why he decided to switch servers. Right. And. Uh, I, I honestly, I don't blame him, especially yeah. getting uh, corpse camped and, and whatnot. We definitely have a little bit, but I guarantee you not to the extent of what Never. he was yeah. dealing with. Um, even, you know, just dying and, and corpse running about 15 times, just getting to uh, uh, 
uh, black, yeah, black depths. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Just yeah, yeah, tr it, yeah. Ugh, I twitch every time, but that's that's kind of what uh, I was I, I was burned out last week. There was a point during the raid where I was just like, I'm not having fun. And I yeah. broke, I, I, I broke on stream a little bit. I was just like, I have no fun playing this character anymore. I hate this character. And I know, like, oh, I felt so bad. Crap. <sighs> well, it's, it's just like, you wanna have fun playing the game. And I know people would be like, well, don't roll on a PVP server. I, I think there's a difference between like, rolling on a PVP server and like, having a natural, natural encounters with world PvP right. as it should be. Like you're, you're roll, roaming, you know, rolling around in a group of, of five to ten people and you're just kind of traveling around looking for, looking for horde or lions to kill. Like, it, that's fine, but like, when you can't play the game, like, what, what fun is that? Exactly, and it, it, it goes beyond uh, don't roll on a PvP server. It, you are just dealing with overpopulation mm -hmm. at its finest. And not only that, you're dealing with a modern day issue of people just wanting to ruin your day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we, we talk about this a lot, how um, classic, w when Vanilla came out, there was no live streaming of the gameplay and how it, it's kind of, maybe it wasn't originally designed to be live streamed. Right. I, mean, I mean, of course, at the time, nobody was thinking about live streaming it, but I feel like it's just such a different game and a different experience that um, you, you put it best. What, what do you? Yeah, well, I mean, because right, this game is 15 years old right now. So when yeah. you bring something back from the past into present day time, of course, modern day issues are going to bleed into it. It's it it mm, wasn't yes. it wasn't originally designed for modern day issues. Right. to solve modern day issues. Um, kind of like what, I mean, kind of what retail is doing now, but I think like LFR and um, there is some sort of uh, world PVP, you could turn it on and off and um, yeah, but I, I kind of digress a little bit, but. Uh, <laughs> if you hear scratching, that's our cat. She's she's, she's hitting her litter box. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Belle is making quite the. Uh... She popped in here like several times, so you're probably <laughs> going to see her in your camera. She'll probably come in yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of modern day issues that weren't a factor when Vanilla was out, right. such as stream sniping and and court and you know yeah. all that stuff. So. Um, I, I've seen a lot of content creators and a lot of streamers even tweet about this, how they they just like, it. they have more fun playing classic off stream. And, you know, like, I, I'll agree to that to a certain extent. Like, there are some times where I just want to like, you know, <laughs> lay back like this. Do the, the South Park. Yeah. yeah just. <laughs> and just kind of chill and, and have like a relaxing leveling experience. Bump my in-game sounds to the max, the ambient volume and everything. And just kind of like get lost in that world. Not have to worry about uh, being entertaining or chatting with people. Right. Um, but on the flip side, like I love, I love chatting with, with people in, in Twitch chat and on YouTube and things like that. Um, and I do have fun streaming the game, I, um, but I have a lot of fun not <laughs> playing yeah. it at, by myself as well. Right. So it's a how it was originally, um, how how it was originally intended to be played, just yeah. by yourself experiencing this, and right. through the game you would contact people and achieve certain aspects and goals together. Yeah, and I guess like, you know, leading up to the launch of Classic, a lot of people were talking about like, what is the authentic Classic experience? What is the authentic vanilla experience? How, how is this going to translate into Classic WoW? And that might be why a lot of these uh, streamers, content creators are having this issue. Hi, Belle! Um, is because that wasn't, be, having to stream the game while enjoying the experience of it wasn't a, a factor at that time, if, I, if that makes sense. Right. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> Hope we're yeah, getting our point across. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, to sum it up, it's, it's what you said. There are a lot of modern day issues that were not a factor back in the day right. in vanilla. And uh, streaming is, is definitely a huge topic of debate 
for one of them. Yeah. Even like um, <laughs> there was such a strong, uh, I guess, demand for uh, from people who aren't a part of Twitch or, or live streaming or anything in general that like they didn't want any streamers on their server, and. I, I like I kind of understand I understand that like you you want that authentic experience as we mentioned um, having the experience of playing Fairlina both Fairlina and Grobulus it, it's a world of a difference in like general chat in trade chat in uh, you know in, in just Iron Forge or whatever um, the <laughs> like Fairlina general chat like sometimes you'll see Twitch emotes so you'll see yeah. like you know, it, it looks like Twitch chat sometimes, or like people talking about Asmongold, you know, whatever. Well said, yeah. On Grobulus, it's, it's a lot more, um, uh, what's the word, immersive, I think. Y you don't see those Twitch references, sometimes you do, like, like you know, Pog or something, yeah. but, but, but it's, it's a whole different experience. And granted, Grobulus is an RP server. Right, but, I, um, yeah. and just to add on to that, no, I, I absolutely agree with, uh, with your point. I feel like Feralina is a modern day classic, whereas I feel yes. Robulus is more of an authentic uh, version of classic that yeah. nobody should join and, and play. <laughs> no additional players. No yeah, additional. It's full. It's, full. it's Yeah, we're full. <laughs> we're capped. I'm sorry. We got like a four hour queue. Oh, it's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Yeah, but but in all seriousness, that's that's very well said. Very well said. I, I feel like Fairlina is more of a modern server. Mm. Um, I also think it's a lot more of a competitive server. I think the players are a lot higher skill capped. The players are a lot more informed and knowledgeable. Not to say that that like players on other servers are, are like dumb or like don't know how to play the game, but I feel like because Fairlina is so competitive. On average, um, those players are like min-maxing. Right. They're freaking doing all the prep work. They're going insane. Um, whereas, yeah, on like an RP server, you, you may not have that that level of competition. Um, and, and that being said, there are like competitive guilds on every server, so I'm not downplaying that. But it's just a. Uh, I feel like there's just a lot more competition on Fairlina. Let, let us know what you guys think about that in the comments. I'd, I'd like to hear uh, to keep the conversation going. Yeah, no, I, absolutely. We uh, we listen. Uh, we hear you guys. So we read all the comments. Yes, we do. <laughs> we do read all the comments. So uh, please, uh, everyone counts. Mm -hmm. All right. So I feel like we we had a good chunk of uh, top topics d covered. Some <laughs> in some nice about classic, classic talk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're gonna move on to BFA. Mm -hmm. Here's where all the views drop. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, but there, there have been a few BFA updates that we just wanted to uh, discuss. Uh, just, just topics of interest to us personally. There are a lot more, obviously, but these are just things that stood out to us. Um, we had, <clears throat> we had discussed a little bit about the uh, auction house mount, the, uh, the the long boy. So, um, how it's going to be removed in uh, in what the the, the new expansion? It, yes. Or e right. three? No, no, I believe by uh, Shadowlands. Uh, yeah, I think it's the new expansion. It's the mount is going to be removed from the game. Right. Um, and people were wondering, um, if you if you already have the mount, are you still going to have the capability to use the auction house and, and the other vendor on it, who is what, like a repair? Yes. Um, so Blizzard, yeah, Blizzard did clarify that the auction house NPC will not be removed from the long boy mount. And I, like, I, I didn't think that it would. Yeah, like, absolutely. Were people concerned about that? It, it is really powerful. It, it is. is a really powerful to tool, and we all know, um, especially with the whole water walking. Um, uh, what yeah. are those? Oh God, I'm such the mount. Um, I'm such a classic player. The mount add-ons. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the mount essence. It, no. <laughs> what they call it? Mount equipment. Yeah, mount I, equipment. I think it is yeah. mount equipment. Um, I'm sorry. You could correct me <laughs> in the uh, in the chat below. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, if they don't like a certain aspect of a mount, they will fix it and they will remove it mm -hmm. um, and they'll address it accordingly. So I could see where people were worried mm, that okay. the auction house would be removed, but it's, it's such a vital point of that mount that I think they would have had a bigger... Um, if I'm going to spend that much gold on the mount, I'd be pissed too if they remove the the auction feature of it. Yeah, hell so, yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like that's the point. Was that was that kind of where you? Yeah, that's at? absolutely where I was okay. going. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, absolutely. But then again, like you think about the water strider mount, like I feel bad for the people who grinded that reputation, like like a month before they were actually like, hey, we're gonna give water walking mounts to everybody. And you're like, really? I just spent the past few weeks grinding this reputation and, and it's it was, getting taken away from me. It's funny because everybody had the uh, the water strider mount. I didn't because I <laughs> kind of skipped uh, Mr. Pandaria. Uh, um, and I remember you you thinking about it. You were like, oh, I gotta I gotta get started on that reputation. So yeah, a week. I shit you not. A week before they announced that they were going to remove that perk and kind of give it to everyone if they so choose. Um, it was legitimately a week before I was thinking like, oh, maybe I should do this. And I even, <laughs> I even went and I started one day, oh. <laughs> one day. And I'm like, oh, I, I kind of can't remember to do this. I guess I'll take my time. And I, the next day, I felt like the next day they were like, yeah, we're, we're taking away that feature and giving it to every mount if you, if you want in, in mount equipment. Woo. You were like, yes. Like, whew, thank God I didn't. Waste all my time doing that. <laughs> yes. Hey, Belle. There's her butt. Belle butt. Little tail. Little tail. Oh, what? Okay, we're almost done, Belle. We'll give you some food when we're done. We gotta end the podcast because our cat's hungry. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Moving on, moving on. <laughs> okay, bye, guys. No. Uh, another another thing that, that uh, just happened in retail was Super Squirt Day on December 6th. Now... It kind of sounds like like what what is that event like what what it was it does it have to do with super soakers uh, or, or is or it twinks, a, is it know? a moon guard only event <laughs> is it but uh, <laughs> apparently it, it was a way for you to power level your pets mm. uh, with like this this insane like XP buff um, I mean uh, somebody in, in in my chat was was saying how she was leveling all her pets from one to twenty five in like two pet battles oh hell yeah so if you uh, if you had pets um, Good way, good good way to level them up. <laughs> I, I I didn't mind pet battles in in, in WoW. I, I I liked that, and I was kind of secretly hoping that at BlizzCon they would have announced a mobile pet battle game. I'm still yeah. I'm <laughs> holding out for that. I'm holding out for that. Mm -hmm. A mobile addition to pet battles. Um, yeah, some kind of like mo yeah mobile pet battle. You know, like I, I, that would be. I think that would be fun. I, yeah, I, I absolutely. Cause I, not that pet battles are, are stale content, but there's only so much that you could do with mm -hmm. pet battles. I think it would just add another layer. It would be a great mobile game. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. They don't even have to make it like Pokemon Go. You no. just, you just, anywhere. You know, you could just do it in your house, on the toilet bowl. Yeah. In bed. While you're yeah. cooking dinner. That's where I play my video games. Oh yeah. Right on. <laughs> Sitting on the toilet. <laughs> uh, um. There's also just just going over the other bullet points. There's a lot of PTR updates for 8.3 coming right. out. Um, it's kind of funny because I like I always say this, but I get a lot of my news from from Wowhead Wowhead.com, and all of the 8.3 update thumbnails are like the same color. Like they're different images, but they're all like purple and pink and like some tentacles in there's there. There's definitely a theme going and on. There's, yeah, there's yeah. that theme, but like you could tell right away without even reading the headline, like, oh, this is gonna be about uh, 8.3. This is retail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, um, but it, it, what's the raid, Niolatha or something? I you can't, you know? I love the old gods. I love uh -huh. them, could never pronounce their names. Yeah. So, uh, I'm so sorry. I will not pronounce that for for my safekeeping. <laughs> um, but I was reading that in the raids, some of the if something uh, is a BOE drop, it has a potential to be corrupted too. So it has uh, that corruption. Um, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Of, yeah. yeah. Like that negative side effect. Yeah. Oh, Very okay. powerful, but negative side effect. Oh, cool. Yeah. We'll, we'll definitely fine. check it. We'll definitely check out 8.3. We gotta do... I gotta do the mount. You gotta do yes, the Yes, the anniversary 15. mount. Mm -hmm. Time is running out. I only have a few weeks left. What are you doing, Belle? Oh, she could, she could exit if she wanted to. Yeah, she's just she's, sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to give us subtle hints that she's yeah, hungry. She, <laughs> <laughs> so 
so she's, she's trying to back. lead us. She's trying to lead us out of the room <laughs> and to her f- food bowl. Okay, she's Bill, we're almost so done. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. She's she very sweet. Will never um, nag at us in a way to yeah, feed her no. when she's hungry. No. But she will lead us. She will physically lead us to her bowl, and then she'll just sit right very, by. Very, very polite. She's it's a little lady. Dainty. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Real little miss. That's why I call her little miss. And uh, well, the last bullet point we have for BFA is uh, the the daddy. The 2009 charity pet Dottie oh is now available, God. and this is actually really cool. Um, all the pr- uh, purchase proceeds are going towards Make a Wish and We.org. Um, there's also a plushie too. Is the plushie going towards? I was the just donation? about to ask <laughs> the, the you charities that. Too? I can't imagine not. Um, but they both look so cool, and to be honest, I'm probably going to end up purchasing both of the in-game. So, yeah. Uh, little little pet as well as uh, as well as the plushie because uh, you probably you probably can't see it right now just because of Snorlax in the back. Um, but I have so many plushies. I have all the Welpkin plushies. I'm thinking about starting the Murloc baby Murloc oh, plushies. Oh yeah, Verona has all those. <laughs> oh, they're so damn cute. They're, oh, they are adorable. I got the. Uh, the red one, the recent red one, which I think you can oh, see. Yeah. yeah, in is that in murky? Your shot. Or I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I you don't have the know. mug of it too. Like yeah, the mug. Yeah, which was really, still <laughs> really cool. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I uh, they announced that at BlizzCon, and I, I think that was just a, a really good idea. I know they tend to get a lot of backlash for in-store um, uh, purchases uh, for game uh, mounts and and pets like. Yeah. Just in general, but I think especially when it's going towards a good cause like this, it's how could you not? And it looks so oh, yeah. damn adorable too. So it's it's really yeah. a win-win situation. And they make it very apparent that it's for charity. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and and if they get backlash because of that, then you know, then you're just being an asshole. Right. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to that. Uh, is that out? Already, I think you could purchase Dottie. that. It's now available, Dottie. Woo! Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about the plushie. I think it was. We could we could check real Hold quick. On, yeah. But uh, yeah, they, they, it's adorable. Ooh, twenty five percent off. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go to World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. Okay. They, yep. Oh, there's a big banner featuring it up top. Oh, that oh is so God. adorable. Look oh, it has a little that. pouch on the side too. It's got little feet. Oh, well, that is oh. adorable. How much is it? It is thirty bucks. Okay, does it um, say if the proceeds go to charity? <laughs> okay. Okay, a little oh, bit. Bill, okay. So through December 31st, 2019, Blizzard will donate uh, uh, 10 US dollars from the purchase price of each okay. Dottie. Okay. Uh, to be shared with, to be shared equally between Make-A-Wish and uh, W-E or is it we? Uh, potato, potato. <laughs> <laughs> So every so five dollars will go to Make a Wish, five dollars will go to We right. on every uh, purchase of the plushie. So, right. oh, that I plushie's really adorable. Cute. Okay, yeah. you you, you have us sold. Like, this looks like it could be a little big. I a hope it. I hope plushie. it's big. They they should use a banana for scale. That you can never go wrong with that. Yeah. Honest, you can't. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. For sure. Um, okay, is there anything else you want to talk about? Um, I, I just want to open the floor a little bit in terms of if you have any uh, questions or if you want us to comment on anything for a future podcast, uh, please leave it in the comments, tweet at us. Uh, like I, I said earlier, we're, we're listening and we, we do go through the comments and read every single one. Um, so if you have a, a topic in particular that you would like us to discuss, uh, please don't hesitate. Please don't be shy. Uh, we, we would love to hear from you guys. So, uh, there's that. And yep. buy some motherfucking Quissy t-shirts. And <laughs> or the nice chest, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> donate to our future Patreon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're, we're still, we're still kind of hashing that out. Yeah. We, we want the perks to be really, uh, really cool for you guys. Because yeah. you guys, uh, you guys are so supportive and like do so do so much for us already. So we right. want to make sure that it's a, a mutually beneficial right. in that and regard. Oh, Belle. Belle. Okay. All right. We we yeah. we're gonna wrap it up here. Belle is. <laughs> 
Bella's making it very apparent that she is hungry. I'm sorry, Belle. Next time we gotta feed her before we yeah. uh, before we do the podcast. Little miss. You wanna jump up? Oh, but thank you guys for tuning in. This is episode nine. Um, as Pasta said, we're always welcome to feedback. If you like the video on YouTube, please give it a thumbs up. Find us on Spotify, find us on Apple Podcasts, subscribe on YouTube. You could follow us on our socials, which are listed underneath our videos. And um, have fun, like for those who play Classic, have fun in Battlegrounds this week. I'm, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to chatting about it next week with you guys to see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Uh, th- just thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for all the support. We, we really do appreciate it. And that's a wrap. We, we got to feed Belle. Oh, yeah. Time to feed Belle. Bye-bye, everybody.